Hi everybody, my name is Chuck and I'm a computer technician. I currently work for an internet company. So I'm here to present to you and to show you about today's technology. So I've seen in my current work that there are still questions, queries, confusion about the technologies today. So in each of my videos, I will pick a topic to talk about. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through, uh, through my website or through email. And I'll post all the information at the end of this video. And please stay tuned now for the, today's topic. Hi everyone, my name, my name is Chuck and in this video I'm going to be introducing to you uh, about the um, things about the uh, website designing. So to start off, um, a lot of you will know that a website is basically um, something that you put on the internet and it shows um, either one page or multiple pages of stuff for you to view with uh, pictures, sound, uh, animation and, and all that in there um, and also there will be web forms for businesses where you can fill up and um, uh, fill up and for things like name and address phone number for orders for uh, and, and other stuff so um, with that being said um, there is a number of things that you'll need in order to uh, get a website started So for me, um, to, in order to build a website, you need the right tools. And as I said previously, that um, you can put in sound, you can put in uh, uh, web forms, you can put in animations, pictures, and text as well uh, in your um, uh, in your website. So for this, that means that you need tools to make sure that you it will show your uh, presentation okay. So one of the things that I usually do is. Um, get um, a number of uh, softwares that will help me in uh, designing this website. So the first picture you see is um, for picture editing and then we have a video editor uh, which is shown here now uh, called VideoPad and, if, uh, and then this basically is to help generate a nice uh, picture or, or video that will display for your audience and see, hey, you know, make it attractive for your uh, website. Uh, so the, the, the other things that is also uh, good to have is basically uh, an audio um, rec uh, recorder or um, uh, uh, recorder for, you know, putting things like narration uh, so you can put it with your sound. Now, the last picture is a video editor called VideoPad that has its own um, uh, vid, um, sound recorder so it can do narration. And um, the next, uh, the, the picture that you see now where you see like a wavy line, that's just for the audio recorder. And what that does is basically um, uh, record audio only in case you have soft, free software that you want to use to start off. Uh, and there is no actual um, uh, uh, audio recording for that so you have to get a separate software and put it in manually okay so the next uh, section is basically uh, it's a tool to help bring everything you put uh, together separately before into one piece so we do need a web design software where you can start putting your video uh, recording, your still pictures, uh, your text uh, description of your business, or maybe your selling stuff, the products you're gonna put in there, into uh, either one page or multiple pages. And, uh, and then you can upload it to what we call a web server. So, um, so the web design software uh, in the past, uh, there is also a Microsoft front page that uh, it's out there. 
Uh, there is also a, a free software on there. It's called um, for those who are more novice and you want to start off with something more automatic, would be the Seahorse, which you can uh, download from uh, download.com or CNET uh, website. Uh, it is free, but there are some features that may not be uh, uh, active. Uh, so if when you pay for it, you uh, activate that. Um, it does have a lot of pre-made uh, uh, pages there. So to select themes and get you started. Uh, other um, other ways of uh, programming uh, your website, uh, you can look at other softwares that are out there in the market that can help you um, get into the uh, uh, web design process. If you're going to be getting into forms, uh, I would suggest you to get additional help on this one for the reason is uh, for me, I stay away from web forms um, because of uh, data leakage to the wrong uh, party. Uh, so it depends on what you're using for, uh, and namely um, that uh, I don't do web forms because a lot of people want to pay online uh, and things like that. You can use uh, uh, pre-programmed service like maybe um, like for e-commerce and things like that, uh, like the Square. Uh, a point of sales uh, a system out there you can just uh, add that web link to your website but for myself manually uh, programming it, it it takes a lot of work uh, it's also a headache if there's an issue then you gotta go through find the error and uh, replace it whereas you can go to a, a service that it's already made it made it for you so and um, for this web designing software, it's just to help bring in all your design, all your individual designs like pictures, uh, videos, and uh, and text together to, um, before you present it to the your audience. So one thing that um, you also need to know is how is are people going to reach to see your web uh, website. So you need to figure out what kind of uh, web address. That's what it's called. That they can, that you can put for them to access. Uh, now this can be uh, under .com, like you see in the picture, .ca, .us, .tv. There's a number of them, and you have to pay for this uh, for the registration of this um, web address. Uh, it can be a, um, a default one that you get from a, a website provider or free website provider. Uh, it's basically up to you, but you do need a web address and uh, before you complete the design of the uh, uh, internet website. So now in this picture, basically I'm showing this just for display, but when you are um, using someone else's service, this is uh, what um, uh, what happens. You're using someone else's uh, server and service to store your website where it's, it's a group of uh, files that you're going to be uploading. So all your web pages, all your pictures, web forms, and all that will be transferred from your computer to the what, what they call the web server. Now I have had um, people coming to me with issues um, recently that okay, how come you know I upload it, it doesn't work? I asked for them to fix it. Well, here's the thing: you're using their computer or their server, so you're going to be at their mercy of uh, waiting for them to look into it and fix it. The other way of doing it is have your own server, which means that uh, you have to do the maintenance 24-7 uh, more, more likely. You have to know the technical background of how to fix it. And, and, and also you should have extra parts in case one part fails, you got to quickly um, uh, replace it. So it's a headache uh, that can do to me. And, and also for the service in uh, uh, connecting your server to the internet, it may cost you a lot of money. Uh, I know in the past, maybe roughly about 10 years ago, I checked different services and they can range from a couple hundred dollars a month to maybe a thousand dollars a month and that's not including maintenance of your equipment. So uh, it is easier for me, it is easier for uh, just to get, bring it to a company who does web hosting, so which is coming up next. So I said, uh, this is uh, web hosting with a, a pink company is the cheaper solution. Uh, for the reason is um, you only pay a small uh, fee uh, depending on where you go to. Uh, now I am 
currently with this uh, web hosting company because it's free and they don't use uh, web forms so I can upload um, my web pages and things like that and as you can see uh, my web page site is under the wcscanhelp.ipc.net or .com uh, pardon me and uh, this is the web hosting company I have there is another company called for good hosting it's uh, based in Vancouver uh, uh, Burnaby I believe I don't know if they have moved but they are paid service and basically they will help you uh, with your uh, web space and if you uh, need help they can help you as well they got their own designing team too uh, but again this is a, uh, um, uh, a paid service now um, with web hosting uh, there are a number of things that you need to know if you're getting them to do your design then you don't have to worry about how you access your web space to uh, transfer your files there if not then uh, you'll be using uh, uh, your own access information to upload it yourself so this is something that you may want to think about before uh, proceed so in this video screen or this picture it is actually uh, on a web server that I have and this is actually the file area that we see and all the um, files that you um, uh, you transfer from your computer to this website will go into this file uh, uh, file folder named htdotcs and when cust uh, when people look at it uh, they will see all the uh, files you uploaded from there and uh, to see what your website looks like now keep uh, please remember that when you're uploading website the first page that they see is usually named as index.htm or index.html so this is just automatically preset for every user when they upload their website okay so finally after you uploaded your website and what I usually do I don't usually just check with one browser but two browser so I use Google Chrome and my second browser I also check all the pages with uh, my solar Firefox and this is just to make sure that if different users have different browsers will see the same thing as you have designed in your website so should you have any problems uh, just double check your uh, design work and then maybe try again and see if uh, what you put in is exactly what it's displaying for people to see so this concludes uh, this video and if you have any questions com constructive comments please uh, stay tuned to let me know the contact information is coming up See you next time.